Hey, I wanted to touch a little bit on something that might not really uh, pertain to survivalism, but I think it does. This is a it's a wall clock, which is battery powered, and the C size or the double A size battery <coughs> that goes in the back had started to cheese up a little bit, and I wanted to explain a few things about. Uh, batteries and why they do this. Okay, uh, I have an example here of a of a uh, a battery. Again, it's a it's a double A size, and it was in. This was the particular one that was in the back of the clock, and if you'll notice in the in the center of the picture here you'll see that the back the bottom of it is got a little bit of cheese on there that's basically a, a sulfate uh, that is a result of a loss of current the current is being taken away for one reason or another from the mechanism and as I understand it, uh, moisture or some other agent is responsible for that. It doesn't mean that the battery is bad. It simply means that there is something affecting the battery that's causing it to 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 corrode like that, and that's the 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 result of uh, air, water in the form of moisture. Uh, condensation stuff like that or a, a bad connection a loose a short in other words a short in the in the electrical connection and what I have here is four other batteries that have the same problem and what I'm doing is taking an old toothbrush and I'm immersing it in water and I'm just scrubbing all that cheese off of there, all that sulfate. I call it sulfate, it might be something else. The upshot is not necessarily detrimental to the battery. In other words, the battery may still be good. And I happen to believe that this battery, at least, it's still got some power left in it because the clock had still, it's, it still was functioning, it was keeping time perfectly. And that battery is, uh, I'd say it's about two years old, and it still works. Okay, the, the bottom of the battery has a kind of a rusty uh, patina to it. And there's nothing wrong with that if you want to take a little emery cloth and buff that off so that if you use this in a flashlight or something uh, and it's a two cell flashlight the other you know the positive terminal of the other battery can make proper contact with the bottom section here that will allow the current to flow properly and that, that's the reason why it cheeses up like that you if you ever had an automobile particularly the ones that have the top terminals on the on the battery underneath the hood uh, you'll notice that a lot of times in its in its uh, as time goes by the battery terminal uh, will cheese up to the point where the cheese spreads all over the terminal and sometimes even up the wire and uh, it's the same the same uh, uh, process that's being being uh, uh, implemented there. There's a, a, a break in the current flow, a short if you will, and that's what causes that sulfate to form. I've been told. Now, if anybody has any information on this that's different, uh, please comment on this. Uh, but the upshot is, it's not the end of the world as far as the battery is concerned. The battery very likely it still has some life left in it so that's the reason for this video so
Thanks for watching and have a good day.